All right, welcome to the Health Ranger Report. This is Mike Adam of the Health Ranger reporting for naturalnews.com. Today we have some new information, breaking news from a medical journal called Cell Research. This is news about the dangers of genetically modified foods. And this is new information. This shows the mechanism by which genetically modified foods or, or GM foods or GE foods, genetically engineered, may alter your organ function. You see in the past, Monsanto has said that genetically modified seeds and foods are presumed to be safe, presumed safe. It doesn't mean they're proven safe. In fact, right here from the Monsanto website, a couple of quotes you need to know. Here it is. Monsanto says, quote, there is no need to test the safety of DNA introduced into genetically modified crops. And they go on to say, there is no need for or value in testing the safety of GM foods in humans. So you see, Monsanto has a position that they don't even need to test the safety of these genetically modified foods because it doesn't even matter. But now here in cell research, we have a new study called the exogenous plant MIR16A. That is a uh, micro RNA study that we're talking about here. Specifically targets mammalian LDL RAP1. That's a receptor for LDL cholesterol. Uh, function in the liver, uh, evidence of cross-kingdom regulation by microRNA. Now, it means that microRNA, which is information, it is genetic information, has now been found to pass from the foods through digestion into your blood and then to attach onto your organs. You got that? It goes from the food through digestion into your blood and attaches onto your organs and there it modifies the function and the expression of those organs. This is groundbreaking science. This nullifies the safety claims of Monsanto. And it means that we are more than just the vitamins and minerals and fiber and carbohydrates and proteins that we eat. It means we are also eating information. You got that? We're eating information because DNA and RNA is information. So when we're eating this microRNA, it's surviving that process and then providing information to the cells and the organs in our body. Maybe this is why GMOs are causing such widespread infertility because the microRNA is attaching to the receptor sites of the fertility organs and altering the expression or the function of those fertility organs. Let me read you some more from the study because it's quite, it's quite fascinating. This is in the abstract of the study, which again was published in the September 20th edition uh, 2011 of Cell Research. The abstract says, quote, here we report the surprising findings that exogenous plant microRNAs are present in the sera, that means the blood serum, and tissues of various animals, and that these exogenous plant microRNAs are primarily acquired orally through food intake. That, again, is breaking science. It changes everything. You see, you already know you are what you eat. And normally that means you are the vitamins and the minerals and the other nutrients that you consume. We know that that's true on a physical level or even a biochemical level. But what about the information that you eat? Are you also the information? The answer is yes. And this is, again, a whole new realm of science. When a predator is consumed by, it, I'm sorry, when a predator consumes prey, there is a predator slash prey relationship where there is a transfer of information from the prey to the predator. So back in American Indian lore, when the American Indians would kill and consume a buffalo, they would say that in some sense you become, or that buffalo becomes part of you, or, or a part of you becomes the buffalo. You and that animal or the plant that you consume become one. What we're finding now with the study is that that, that is genetically a true statement at some interesting level. It's not just metaphor. It's actually biochemically true that you become, in a small way, but a very true way, part of what you consume. Now, what happens when you consume plants that have been altered, artificially concocted in a laboratory by profit-driven scientists working for the most evil corporation in the world? 
you get information that's bad information. It's not natural information. It is frankenfood information. And when you consume that, that information goes into your body and then begins to program your organs and your cells and your tissues to behave in a way that is artificial, that is not natural, that is Frankensteinian in its effect, in essence. That's what we're seeing with genetically modified foods. That's why this is a big deal. Let me read you some more quotes from this particular study. It says that the, this MIR16A at 168A could bind to the human mouse low-density lipoprotein receptor, those, that's the LDL uh, cholesterol receptors, uh, adapter protein, inhibit LDL, LDL RIP1 expression in the liver. Again, this is altering the, your liver function in terms of regulating cholesterol, and consequently decrease LDL removal from mouse plasma. What that means is that you would have high LDL levels in your blood. These findings demonstrate that exogenous plant microRNA in food can regulate the expression of target genes in mammals. You got that? If you truly understand what's being said here, your jaw should be dropping to the floor. It's that big of a deal. This is huge. It means that, again, eating these genetically modified foods and crops can alter the expression of your organs. MicroRNAs have been widely shown to modulate various critical biological processes including differentiation, that's cell specialization, apoptosis, which is part of the cancer prevention process in human, normal human cell metabolism, proliferation, the immune response, and the maintenance of cell and tissue identity. Now, <laughs> that's another crucial statement. What do you get when your cell doesn't remember what identity it's supposed to express? You get a DNA mutation that results in the formation of a cancer a cancer cell that goes on to become a cancer tumor. So what we are seeing here now written in this paper in language that's, that's very technical, but if you understand it in layman's terms, it means simply this. If you eat genetically modified foods, you are absorbing information from those foods that can potentially cause cancer in your body. It can alter the expression, the function of your organs, such as the liver and possibly, in fact, very likely, many other organs, including your brain, including fertility organs, including your kidneys, perhaps even your heart. In other words, the more genetically modified food you consume, the less human you become. That is, is a shocking but true statement. By eating this information, you are becoming less human and less natural. It's literally altering, altering the expression of your body and your body's tissues. Going on in this study, again, published in Cell research, it goes on to state that this has the potential to selectively interact with specific target cells and mediate intracellular communication. That's, oh, wow. The secreted microRNAs can serve as a novel class of signaling molecules in mediating intra or intracellular communication. In other words, it can interfere with the cell signals between, between your cells. And as Dr. Bruce Lipton wrote about in The Biology of Belief, it is the outside of the cell the cell membrane that is much of the intelligence of your whole system. It is, it is the intelligence that, that tells the inside of the cell what to do based on what's happening in, in its environment. And what this study is showing is that, again, eating GMOs and genetically engineered foods can alter what signals your cells are receiving. Now, why does this matter? Here's a picture of BT corn. BT corn is a genetically modified variety of corn. It's grown throughout North America and around the world, in fact, and most of the corn that's harvested in America today is BT corn. BT is genetically engineered to produce an insecticide chemical in its own kernels. Yeah, an insecticide. An insecticide that kills insects by causing neurological damage. Now inside the BT corn G, uh, DNA, there is coding, artificial programming, you might say, for it to synthesize the, this insecticide in its own kernels. That way, when insects eat the corn, they die of neurological poisoning. So that way the insects don't eat the corn, and then they harvest the corn, and they use it to make high fructose corn syrup, they use it to feed cattle, they use it to make your corn flake breakfast cereals, and your corn tortillas, and your corn soup, and everything else that you're eating at the grocery store that's not USDA organic. Got that? If it's not non-GMO, it's probably BT corn. What this means, and I hope you truly get this, I hope you really, really understand this point. That's why I'm spending so much time on this. 
Based on this study, now we have the understanding of a mechanism by which you might eat BT corn and you might become a person who is now coded or programmed to produce insecticide in your own body. You understand that? That's a very big deal. In other words, the microRNA that is coding for the production of neurologically damaging insecticides in the corn could pass through digestion. It could get into your blood. It could get into your digestive tract. It could perhaps even attach to various organs in your body. It could, in fact, transfer into the so-called friendly flora that in, inhabits your intestinal tract and those bacteria could then begin producing BT insecticide in your own gut. That would cause you to start producing poison and suffering the symptoms of that poison inside your own gut. You could, in, in other words, become a pesticide factory. Again, remember when I said the more you eat of this, the less human you become. You're becoming less human and more factory more pesticide factory. And now this, this isn't metaphor anymore, folks. I hope you get this. This is actual biological genetic truth. This is a scientific fact. It also means that the excuse that Monsanto uses that we don't have to test this for safety in humans, there's no need to even test anything, that that is pure quackery. That's junk science, it's corporate run science produced for the sole purpose of selling more GMO seeds and generating profits for what is now considered to be the most evil corporation on our planet, Monsanto, I mean Monsanto, and the second most evil corporation being DuPont, which is also very heavily invested and involved in the GMO seed industry. So I hope you're getting this. In fact, this was covered by a story in The Atlantic, which is entitled, as you can see here, The Very Real Dangers of Genetically Modified Foods. The Atlantic covered this and pointed this out. It's being covered all, all across the media. Uh, Monsanto is denying this, but the science is now providing the explanation for the mechanism by which GMO foods can poison you. And in fact, again, code your body to produce poisons internally. So that's what you need to know. Now stay informed about this. Keep watching naturalnews.tv where, where we will be posting these videos. We're also posting this audio on soundcloud.com. Share this video if you're watching. If you're seeing this on YouTube, share it there. Get this information out to other people. I also want to encourage you to read naturalnews.com where I serve as the editor and we publish about 10 stories a day now from various authors, investigative stories about health issues that are important for you, your family, your children, and the future of our world. We're into sustainable living, we're into green living, we're also into health freedom. Uh, in addition, I want to encourage you to support Jeffrey Smith and his efforts at the Institute for Responsible Technology the IRT. His website is responsibletechnology.org and also uh, help support Ronnie Cummins at the Organic Consumers Association who helps fight against GMOs. He is at organicconsumers.org. And uh, by the way, you can find some other videos that we've done at foodinvestigations.com, including a, a video about fake blueberries being used in breakfast cereals. There's going to be a lot more coming out this year, 2012, from myself, Mike Adams, and the Natural News production team. In fact, we're filming this in our new studio where we can bring you this information in a timely and professional way. Thank you for watching and uh, please share this video. This is Mike Adams, the Health Ranger, reporting on GMOs for naturalnews.com. Take care.